Let's leave. This place is hostile. I don't like it. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. Today, we're trying a game called Aurora RL. I mean, it just says Aurora on here, but the game is listed on Steam as Aurora RL. I guess that stands for, as I'm seeing down here, Aurora Roguelike. So this is a space adventure, and um, I've been playing for a little while. The first time I played it, it was a little bit laggy, but meh, things were okay. This last time I was just practicing, double checking, make sure I'm getting the hang of it, and things are going pretty good. So let's go ahead and start a new game. There's a long story to begin with this. Um, I'll try and sum it up. The year is 2200, and all the resources on Earth are exhausted. The ecology is ruined, and we're facing a big economic, uh, economic crisis. That's what it says there. Um, so the human society decided to explore space and they to find new resources, and they um, created a space program called the Aurora. Um, you can pause this and read it all if you want to. I'm going to skip it oh, quite a bit of it, um, but um, just because it's a long story. Um, so eventually they, you know, discovered how to travel faster than light, and then they discovered this new Aurora system, the Goddess of Dawn. And so, um, it took a long time to gather all the resources to make the spaceship, but finally they did, and it returned great rewards. Um, the first con contact with an alien civilization, and the first exploration of other worlds, and stuff, Yay! It took months for them to come back, but finally they got home, and everybody was excited. Now on their current journey, well, they were supposed to come back, but unfortunately something happened, and they never made it. So now, the leaders of the world, the European Alliance, um, the leader of the Asian Union, and I see, I like the back and forth here, but I don't like that the text scrolls this way. Maybe if they'd started over here and gone away sideways. So yeah, they're saying basically who's going to take care of this because the Aurora 2 is going to cost a lot of money and a lot of resources. Um, but, you know, where are we going to get it all? Because not everybody's got it. And the American Alliance says, yeah, yeah, you know, there's no money, so we can't do it. Um, and Asia's, you know, everybody's humming and hawing. Well, somebody has to do it. Somebody's got the technology, somebody's got the resources, so we'll figure out who it is and in a moment. Um, so, Europe says somebody can do it, and they'll take care of most of it, but they'll kind of all chip in, I think is the main gist. So you get to choose the country leading the project. Um, so the American Union, um, you get the American military, um, which gives advanced equipment soldiers uh, what plus one HP military training for all 10% um, damage. Um, the European Union, which is the one I've been playing with, are unrivaled engineers capable of creating the high-tech stuff and fast using a minimum of resources um, and 20% less time uh, project costs. Um, and less time to complete. And then the Asian Union is um, good for science and scientific, and all research projects take 10% less time. So I'm going to go with the European Union just because I think the engineering is really good. Um, if you guys want to play this, you're welcome to cho choose another, make another choice. So we're going to go. Don't worry, Europe can handle it. After all, we can only handle things... So everybody worked as hard as they could for two years to make a new spaceship. Yay, there's the space dock, and there's our spaceship. And you were appointed its commander. Now, your main task is to explore, establish contact with alien civilizations, to boldly go where no one has ever dared going before. Um, and then we also need to find the missing Aurora. Woohoo! So here we are with Martin Klimovi. Our direct superior nods a greeting to you in his office. So you're finally here. Look at the uniform they gave you. You look like a Christmas tree. Yeah, the uniform's a bit too tight. Haha. <laughs> Some were allowed to wear their civilian clothes. Well then, uh, he comes serious. All papers are signed. Everything is ready. What's going to be? 
you look on a real mission now or want to complete a set of test assignments first? Don't look at me like that. There's nothing wrong with getting used to your ship first. We're going to go ahead. I've kind of done some of the other stuff, so I think I've got the hang of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say let's 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 go for it. I haven't done this before, so this is the first time. Um, so I familiarized myself doing it before, so let's go. Alright, welcome to the Aurora RL. As captain of a research spaceship, your main task is to discover new things in space, bringing them back to Earth. Our ship has been left in the solar s system and is now this on the star map. Has just left the solar system. Use the arrow keys to move around in it. To visit different star system, fly up to the star and click enter the system. Um, when you click star map, um, you can see the map of the entire galaxy systems you have been pending have pending requests in are marked by green circles. Um, you can browse the quests by clicking journal and you can set a current research goal for your voyage in the available research. Probably should have done the the tutorial thing. Your free plot and itinerary you want for your ship and every system can be visited but be ready to find unknown dangers there. And remember that your decision can affect the entire human race. Okay, so this is our solar system. We visited it. And we could probably go here. Planet count eight. Um, can we click on our solar system? Do, 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 do. Let's get my other hand going. There we go, enter star system. So we're just gonna enter our star system. You enter the star system. To leave it, click back to the star map. Star map, star map. I don't know where star map is. We'll find it. Oh, uh, across the red border. Got it. You can visit planets and spaceships to do... Okay, so let's... Oh, uh, when you are in the star system, your scientists can study celestial bodies in it, governing astronomy and blah blah blah. And to attack objects, yes, in the bottom corner, this guy is our cannon. We can click on that and or use our one through four and it will shoot things. You can attack a target, but friendly ships will turn hostile if you shoot them. They manage to leave the star system alive, they will spread news about your attack. So I don't know how to tell who enemies are yet, but let's go ahead and in research. Research screen, allocate scientists to do various things, special projects and astronomers, blah 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 and increase and decrease. So we're gonna put one guy on, let's put two people on astronomy and two on store, star exploration. Yay! And then we're gonna go to engineering. Let's see, let's craft med pack and craft oxygen cylinder. Sure. Okay, and now we just use our ASWD and kind of fly around. Um, I don't think we have a map, so we just kind of randomly fly here and there. And we um, we can go through and I guess can meet the different scientists. There's Gordon, our head scientist, um, rambling on about stuff and stuff and stuff. So, and then there's Henry, our ship's commander, and Sarah is our engineer. I've already met them all. We have our inventory over here. We have three oxygen and three med packs. And then these are the different modules, which I guess we can add to later as we improve our ship. Um, just to give you an overview of the game. So let's see if we can find, oh, there's a planet over here. It looks like Earth. I think it is Earth. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Let's scan this planet. We'll scan, which planet are we scanning? We're gonna scan this one. Okay, so on the screen you can see the surface of the planet and your ship orbiting it. So let's pick a different destination. Different colors are different points of interest. It also shows you down here. Green, yellow, is green is bioactivity, yellow is resources, and red is unknown. Um, the colors, the green and the yellow, I get confused because to me these all look yellow. And when I was doing the tutorial, 
they were all resources, so I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and land right about here. And we're gonna land, oh, I don't think I set up a landing party. And is it gonna let us land? All right, so the game got a little bit stuck. I tried exiting and then I told it to cancel and then it popped back up. So they're ready for the deployment. So we need to set up our um, landing party, which we probably should have done beforehand, but that's okay. So I think I want, um, this is what I had previously. Um, actually, nope, we're gonna do it that way. Um, yep, two military, two scientists and three engineers. Um, and then everything they take is good. So let's go. Okay, we've landed on the planet and now let's go. Um, try keep track of oxygen up here. Let me just get rid of all this. Okay, this is interact so we can take the interact to fly back to the ship. And then each track we do takes a little bit of oxygen and it also gives us exploration points, I think. Then we come to something like this. These are the resources. We interact and we mined one unit of gold. And now the ore is depleted. And we're, before we head to the other one, we're gonna come up here. Just going over it, transfers it right here. Dumped it into the shuttle and then transferred it, I guess, up to the ship. And also refills our oxygen. And we can do some exploring this way. Here we go. And we do that. And we can keep exploring in the area. I think the more we explore, the more bio data, I think, I don't remember what it's called, something data we can get. And we can look at the map and see that, oh, the next closest thing is way up here. Um, I don't think I wanna go all the way up there on foot just because it's gonna use up our oxygen, but we can explore all this area for a bit. Oh, there we go. We found some, let's get that. And there wasn't very really much there. So now we have to watch our oxygen. Oxygen tank is half empty now. So we have to make sure we get back to our ship before we run out of oxygen. Otherwise they all die, which is not a good thing. There we go. And let's interact. So now we're back up to our ship and we can see we've got resources and we can tell them to do things if we need to repair the hole or if we need them to craft more things. But let's scan again. Yep, that planet there. Okay, and we landed here before. Let's see, let's fly and land over here by this and go ahead. All right, I don't know if it's a bug I'm encountering now that I didn't have before, but um, stopping the recording didn't help, but I did do the X out of the screen and tell it to cancel because it would not save everything. Um, anyway, and that brought me back to here. So we want to go down and to the right a little bit, which is good because these are cliffs and I can't, I'm pushing the down and we can't actually go down right there because we're running into a cliff. And that looks like iron and we got all the iron. Let's do a little exploration of our area not that there's anything here but I think like I said we get uh, geo da data from everywhere we go and we run out of room there and let's let, let's let's continue on because that's obviously earth so let's see if we can head out and just ooh, there's a planet let's check out this planet let's scan it cannot be landed. Okay, so that's okay. We can't land on the giant gas planet. Um, there must be another planet around here somewhere that also looks like a giant gas planet. And scan that. Yep. Okay. And let's see how our research is doing. So we've got cartography somebody can work on. That's uh, taking all that information we gathered. And nobody's completed anything in engineering. Let's see, how many do we have? Actually, let's check e ship inventory. We've still got three oxygens and med packs. And I don't know 
there's nothing that seems like we can do about those right now. Okay, let's get out of here. So let's make sure engineering, let's just go ahead and have them make up more oxygen and med packs just to give them something to do and use some resources. And we said we couldn't go to the gas planet. And that was really quick, they're already done. There must be more planets here somewhere. So let's go ahead and head back to the star system. So the green ones we can visit. Um, I think that's what it said. So let's go ahead and enter this star system and see if there's something new. Okay, he seems worried. It's, it's, calm down. He's really trying to calm down but fails. There's a spaceship over there, Commander. It looks like a tree. What do you mean a tree? I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a tree. An entire spaceship is a giant tree. Oh. Okay. They're peaceful. But we should be careful. What do you mean? The spaceship, according to our scanners, it's alive. It's a flying tree, and it has leaves and flowers and fruits and even photosynthesis. According to my scanners, you are drunk. He seems offended. Okay, calm down. The commander of the war one reported something similar. Really similar, but I didn't believe his words. Should we reach out to them? But we must be careful. Okay. So here's our tree. And let's interact with these guys. Before you is a creature that looks surprisingly human-like and reminds you more of a fairy tale ca character than an alien. You can see it yourself, can't you? A pair of eyes glowing in the darkness under that. It, under its hat, human eyes don't glow like that. It's time to turn the device from the Aurora One and turn on the device from the Aurora One and start talking to it. Can you understand me? It is so. The creature's voice is unusual. You can hear wooden sounds in it, strange rattlings and clanging. I, we, gardener, gardener, call us that. We greet you on behalf of Earth and all of humanity. We are humans. Our ship is the Aurora too. Something that sounds like mocking. I know who you are. A long time ago, one year ago, more, we saw a ship like yours, the Aurora One. We gave them the ability to talk to everyone. And it was not in vain. You talk to me and we understand each other. Aurora One, you came in contact with the Aurora One. It is so. Aurora. 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 Ha ha ha. I like saying this word. Aurora. 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 In that case, I'll ask you a question, a very important one. Can you tell me where the Aurora One is right now? I knew you would ask that. No, it is not in my power. Why not? The Aurora One has its own path, and you have yours. I repeat, it's very important for all of my people. We cannot. Different ships take different paths. But you can trust me. The creature's eyes flash. No, it really does, but it looks like if two flashlights turned on in the dark gap below the hat, you will definitely meet. Hmm. Now we have to choose. I'm asking politely. Paths. You're talking about roads or okay, I don't have time for this. If you contacted, you probably know why humans have gone to outer space. Hmm. Yeah, they probably do, but so. Um, I want to find out about paths. Paths, a lot of them. They're changed by the paths we choose. You don't want to accidentally change after setting out down someone else's road, do you? It's what makes us different. We are perfectly aware of the borders between our paths and others. Okay. Um, who are you? What do you want to tell me? What do I do to find the Aurora? I want to know who you are. I told you, we are the gardeners. Look around. Is it not beautiful? It is the garden. It is ours. Nor is it yours. It. <laughs> we just tend to it. We can see what will happen to the plants. 
Okay. Um, let's just tell me what to do to find the Aurora One. He who is strong and intelligent will find the path, or he will lay it. Do you mean the future? There is no future. Everything moves forward and backwards in circles. You will understand this, but not now. But you will. Okay. Um, you want us to follow our own path, but you can't point us to it. We cannot. Different shifts, different paths. Okay. So... Yes, your people, dying planet. You, we need contact. You need help. You need resources. Can you help us? Look around and take them from whatever you want. This garden is endless. It is bigger every second. We do not need our help. You need Clisks. Oh, Clisks. Their station is here. Look for it. The beast starts it all. Okay. Okay. You will understand. Okay. He's disconnected. Dang, that was weird. First contact is first contact. Alright. Um. Oh, they're gone. Have you seen that? Their ship just disappeared. Uh, did they enter hyperspace? Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what we can find. Uh, I think if we follow around this orbiting... Aha. Uh -huh. Let's scan this guy. Ooh, lots of things here. So there's yellow, definitely, and green. Green is bioactivity. Yellow is resources. So that's definitely a difference. Let's try over here. There's no red, so I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and land here. Oh, hello. Um... I wonder if they're friendly or hostile. Uh, we might want to fire at it, so F to fire. Um, I can't see now. Okay, oh, it ran away. How about, is it attacking us? No, maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe we don't. Unknown, uh, enrages and charges at your party. Oh dear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't really... Um... How about if we pretend to fly... Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, um... Fire... Fire, 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 cancel. Oh dear, oh dear, they're really mad at us. They're, oh, there's lots of them. Oh dear, uh, leave. Okay, why did we shoot at it? Ugh, I'm so horrible at this. Okay, let's, let's go to a different part of the planet. <laughs> let's go somewhere else where we're not going to shoot at things and hopefully they haven't heard about us. Okay. Okay. So we're cool. Um, maybe? Can we... I, I don't know if there's a way to... I mean... Do we just... Ooh. There's a, there's a thing. I don't know if this is, thing is hostile or not. There's, there's, 
dusty devil-y things. Maybe we just have to kind of learn how to get around them. Okay, we can't go that way. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, an unknown alien attacked us. Okay. Um, and gusts of wind form. Okay. I guess we try killing it. Oh, what happened? Landing party is scattered over the landscape with a powerful tornado. Oh. A member party was killed. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, avoid the tornadoes. Let's leave. This place is hostile. I don't like it. Let's go. <sighs> let's... Let's go. <laughs> that place is no fun. Oh, what is this? They have... Interact. On a video screen, you see a creature. You can't understand its emotions, though it doesn't seem to be aggressive. Who? You? Who are you? We're from Earth. We're representatives of the human race. This is our first contact. Good. The creature clicks weirdly. Clicks. We are clicks. Oh. Okay. Another soul friend. You are the second ones I've met. We are. We were found by gardeners about a week ago. The clisk twitches. At least it looks like. like uh, the clicks clicks like an animal. They have sold you the information, have they? What kind of information? No, we didn't have any deals. We had a strange conversation. Golder gardeners told us to contact you and said it'd make the connection with other civilizations easier. Kinda strange. Gardeners made a deal with us, but they didn't do it with you. What deal? Doesn't matter. Um, they were right. If you want to connect with other races, you go to Klisks. Klisks are the best dealers in the whole cluster. Um. Yes, we we do. A bargain, bargain. It is good. Okay, says about a deal, but a deal might not happen if you need the coordinates of capital planets. You can get them from for free. Goodwill gesture. Uh, gradually slowing down. Furthermore, I'll provide you with information that will only help you establish a diplomatic contact. But you'll also give an opportunity to gain benefit for your civilization. That is the deal. You will have to pay. What is the price? You pay with credits, seven credits for information about any race, even clicks. But I guess you have no money for that, if I'm right. You, we can exchange information about your civilization for information about any race. We believe it is an even trade. However, if you have money, we're glad you give, have a cash payment. Hmm. Well... I think that's where we're going to end this episode. I've realized it's gone on for quite a while. This has been fun and exciting look at Aurora RL, roguelike. Uh, if you enjoyed it, go to the Steam link I will leave down below in the description. And take a look at yourself. I don't know what the current selling price is, but it is available on Steam. And if you like this video, hit the like button, as always. And I'll see you later. Bye!